Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news of the last few days. I'm Alexander and here we go. The DeFi Llama now has his eyes on the Shimmer EVM. So far, almost 5 million tokens have been invested in the Shimmer EVM, which is a considerable amount. The website also lists the various DeFi platforms and their performance. At the end of September, Spice5 published a blog post about app chains. App chains are characterized by their interoperability, which means that they can easily communicate with other blockchain networks. This opens up various application areas, including decentralized financial services, DeFi, gaming, supply chain management, healthcare, real estate, insurance and energy. The combination of IOTA and Shimmer with app chains offers significant advantages, including no bridges required, high security, free interoperability, GDPR compliance and sustainability. Also at the end of September, the IOTA Foundation published a blog post entitled A Solid Foundation for IOTA 2.0. This covers the progress and developments of IOTA 2.0. This upgrade includes the introduction of the Coordicide protocol to improve network security and scalability, as well as the integration of Chrysalis which increases transaction speed and reliability. These developments open up new applications and partnerships for IOTA and strengthen its position as a pioneering blockchain technology. Hey all you IOTA fanatics out there, do you know this? You're standing in front of the closet and thinking, I have nothing to wear but I can't cancel this date after all, I want to impress her or him. No problem. I have the solution. IOTA Merch! Remove style! From t-shirts to beer marks, I've got everything your heart desires. And hey, who says babies can't be used as IOTA advertising? Stop by and don't miss the opportunity to promote IOTA, Shimmer and other projects out there. Get out the bubble, get in the gear and support this channel. On October 2nd, IOTAB launched its DEX, and since then it has been ranked second among Shimmer EVM DEXs. The launch was successful and without any problems. Let's now look at the updates that IOTA and Shimmer have received in recent months. The Firefly desktop for IOTA received a major update to version 2.1.7. Due to the major update to IOTA 2.0, there is now a new version number and a name that better distinguishes it from the Shimmer Wallet. The latest version is 2.0.3. The Shimmer Wallet has also been further developed and the latest version is 2.1.9. The Wasp node has received numerous updates and is now in version 1.0.1. Release candidate 12, so development is progressing well and the latest version was released on November 10th, 2023. The penultimate update is the Honred node with version 2.0.1. The research team has also achieved a great deal. The parameter task force has taken action, including the implementation of metrics in the research branch and the migration of the Elasticsearch server from GoShimmer. A comprehensive parameter table for IOTA Core was created and discussions on priorities, network issues and finalization were held. The implementation of acceptance, confirmation mechanisms in Tangle Sim, clarifications and naming corrections took place. The development of a Tangle Sim module in IOTA Core was discussed to avoid duplicate development. Network changes were made and tasks related to the education campaign were completed. Finally, math and the reward formula in the tokenomics white paper were discussed. Actions were taken in the area of incentives, including the review of the calculator text and the first part of the white paper. New sections have been added and the second part of the white paper will be finalized soon. In the networking area, there were delays in validation blocks due to the not ready status, with an average delay of 20% during the overload. There is room for optimization and the scenario does not seem to be harmful. In terms of finalization, committee selection procedures, mathematical models and the abstraction of the finality gadget have been addressed. 
there are still tasks to be done, such as finalizing the transmission equivocating blacklisting part and presenting the actual protocol. The parameter task force is working on experimental results for validation blocks, priority refinements and data plugin implementation. Networking includes an invitation to extend the mana burn paper and preparation for ICBC. In the area of incentives, new research topics were discussed, including delegation balance and adjustments to the 123 rule. Work is also underway on comparison tables, a SOKE on DAG based DLTs, and the finality gadget. Finally, it should be mentioned that Reuters has presented EDDAG's CityBot in a video. Although the video is not particularly long and has a resolution of 360p, it shows the functions of the CityBot well. Since EDAG supports IOTA, this is particularly interesting to find out when these robots will be used in the real world. On October 2nd, IOTA published another blog post titled Digital Autonomy for All, the Future of IOTA. IOTA is working to make digital autonomy accessible to everyone. This includes decentralized identity solutions that allow users to control their digital identities without having to rely on centralized services. This is a step towards a self-determined digital future. In addition, IOTA is investing in secure and private communication protocols to further strengthen digital autonomy and enable people to communicate securely and anonymously. That was the summary of this edition of Probably Nothing. It's been an episode dominated by research and updates, but now it's likely to be a little quieter as December and the holidays approach, and some developers will probably want to take a break. <laughs>